Hello everyone, my name is Anthiar and welcome back to my Commander Difficulty XCOM 2 Let's Play. Okay, I'm gonna save because I wanna do a test. I don't know how long, I know they, they're time sensitive, but I don't know how long you have and I kinda wanna find out because if I can actually if I can actually wait long enough to get the two, I don't think two days though. Still, be worth it'd be worth looking at just to know, and then I'll you just know, reload. Uh, I probably wouldn't be alive today if it weren't for your father. He was chatter, chatter, chatter. Something of a miracle worker. Getting the Avengers power back online was a miracle. I'm not entirely sure how he deciphered their system, but we'd still be half buried in the sand if he hadn't. He gave everything he had to get the ship running. But he didn't live long enough to see her fly. We owe you both a debt of gratitude. You can honor his memory by using this ship to destroy the aliens wherever we find them. You'll get no argument here. Brightside, if uh, it does give me those two days, I should be able to actually maybe pick up the Corporal as well, which would be a huge benefit. Like, maybe enough to actually make this retaliation mission not suck completely. Commander, we've got local resistance forces waiting to make contact, but we'll have to make the first move. Commander, we have a mission available that's reliant on time-sensitive information. We can always finish our scans later, huh. but failing okay. to take on this mission could have serious repercussions for the resistance movement. On the other side, it didn't will likely seem to like actually have a problem, so... A thorough analysis, I have yet to discover what, if any, advantage the Advent Hybrid Soldier's enormous eyes provide. Testing their visual acuity will no doubt prove difficult. Straight up. Normally I would feel kind of bad about skipping that mission, but honestly, I would have died. I would have lost people. The Faceless alone could have squad wiped me. Though I was never witness to one myself, countless observers attest to the existence of a much smaller, less intimidating variant of the sectoid that took part in the original invasion. In the time since, this new being, the product of clear genetic manipulation, is now a familiar face to our forces operating in the field. So, to kind of give my rationale on that a little bit more, I was um, not going to admit it to Shin. Or Tiger will there just is talk. one thing I miss more than my lab equipment those damn juicy advent burgers i don't know where they get the meat and frankly i do not want to know <laughs> that just yeah it's so disturbing um i think that uh, i may have lost some supply income yes i know i have low scientists you haven't given me any more um so there might have been some supply income like from that region went down but uh to further rationalize my skipping that retaliation strike was that in all likelihood with my the troops I have and the abilities that I have and the gear that I have I would have almost certainly well I'm not going to say almost certainly I mean I, I there's a I would say a decent likelihood that I probably would have not saved the six civilians or I would have lost my entire squad which means I would have taken that penalty anyway and so I'm preserving the lives of my people I'm taking the penalty that I would I would guess I'd have at least a you know, a three and four chance of having to eat anyway, so just take it. You know, it sucks, but uh, it is what it is. So, now we grab some supplies. Go back to headquarters. Don't necessarily need that corporal now, but that wasn't a whole lot of supplies, though. To aid in your efforts, welcome. We have Commander. gathered additional resources. Grenadier, I could use a grenadier. I need 170 supplies, though. For your use. Also, really need the engineer, too. So, basically, I need 350 supplies. Nerp. Well, let's go make contact. The initial intel calls to make contact. We'll have to scan the region for a few days before the local resistance cell comes out of hiding. Once we find them, we'll be up and running in the new region. Commander, using intel collected so far, we've managed Hooray. to locate a resistance cell operating out of this region. It'll take us some time to scan for their exact position, though. 
I actually want to uh, change her gear though. <laughs> Rocking just the t shirt with the harness. Let's see what else we can get. I forget what they are. I actually kind of like the sweatshirt thing going on there. T shirt with a plate, basically. Or just, just a straight t shirt. <laughs> uh, and it still counts as Kevlar armor. That's kind of funny. But we'll do that. Just for giggles. Hold on. I just remembered I have a scope I need to put on my sharpshooters. Oh, um, people are like dying. That's right. I forgot. Um, you are going to be a sharpshooter, sharpshooter. You're still a little bit wounded. That plus five aim um, is not insignificant at early levels. Right, I'm about to just finish clearing that debris. But... There it is. Really want the advanced warfare center, but I don't have enough engineers to do all the stuff I want to do. supplies. I guess that's the difference for uh, Legend difficulty is it takes a lot longer when you get a lot more supplies out of it. Commander, we have a problem. Chairman. Seen your recent activities have gotten Advent's attention. Our unwelcome guests are on the move. Advent has been diverting considerable resources and personnel to covert facilities across the globe. The exact details of these operations are highly classified. However, they do have one thing in common a single word that appears in all their files Avatar. I believe the black site we had previously uncovered to be but a part of this Avatar project. Based on what we have uncovered so far, its true scope is far greater. This project is being directed from the very top of Advent, from a source I am still unable to determine. All attempts to uncover its identity have met with failure. It is time to take a more direct approach. Though we may not know the exact nature of this Avatar project, we can still disrupt it. We must root out these hidden facilities with the help of local resistance cells, disrupt our enemy's operations, and in the process, uncover the truth. Locate the source of this Avatar project, and then destroy it. Were the enemy to succeed in their efforts, I am certain it would mean the end for us all. I am confident you will take whatever measures necessary to eliminate this threat, Commander. We're tracking the aliens' progress on this Avatar project here. If they finish what they've started, it sounds like it'll be the end for all of us. Doom Digger. All right. Can I go back to, you know, seriously gonna make me scroll? Wow. All right. Fine. I am sure you will find the results to be as intriguing as I do, Commander. The sectoid's rapid physical evolution over the past 20 years is a testament to both the aliens' mastery of genetic engineering and their pursuit of advancement, regardless of the risks. I'll see that work begins immediately, Commander. I'll contact you when I have a full report available. Sweet. All right. I'd actually really kind of like to get psionics going because side troopers can be really powerful, but uh, you need Illyrian crystals, and I don't have any of those.
But we've made contact. New objective added. Commander, we've established contact with the local resistance and we're ready right. to move on the alien black site on your order. Advent's been keeping this facility a closely guarded secret. We should make sure our troops are ready for a tough fight before we send them out there. Commander, I've updated our current objectives based on the most recent findings. Commander, we've utilized all of our available communications capacity. We yes, can't we establish have. any new contacts until we upgrade our systems. Attempting to establish oh. local regional contacts. Alright, well I was about to talk about how uh, you can occasionally get extra contacts through the little scanning events, but... Uh... Apparently we have other things to deal Commander, with. with the we got of contacts we've established. We're getting yeah. requests for support from multiple supplies would be really good. Unfortunately, we only have the resources to respond to one of them. The decision is yours. 80 intel. I will at this juncture. I will take the supplies. The armor stuff is really annoying. It lasts for a month. Um, but. You know, a, a one well-placed grenade, and, and that's not as much an issue. Having to do another retaliation mission early on would suck a lot more. So, yeah. <laughs> so it looks like I'll be doing... Uh, well, it says Operation Little Shadow, but uh, sometimes it depends if I forget to save, and then it, I'll try to remember to save. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so protect the device. You... Not need two sharpshooters, so at the moment you can not come along. And grenadier, grenadier, grenadier. Let's see. Yeah, you're still dying horribly. Okay, we'll take a second specialist because I'd like to get people trained up. Getting people trained up would be massively beneficial. So two specialists, a ranger, and a sharpshooter. Really wish I had a grenadier. But we have grenades, so hopefully that'll have to be enough. Um, it's a pretty easy objective. You just kill everything before they're able to destroy the uh, before they're able to destroy the relay. Um, let's see what kind of map we get. If we get a good position, it should be super easy. In position to drop. working for the resistance installed a data tap along the advent network in this area and the data they're retrieving is critical to the aliens latest operation recon suggests the aliens are already moving to destroy the device that data is too valuable to lose so we're moving in to secure the area eliminate all hostile contacts and protect that gear all right slums we're gonna have some buildings we can probably exploit Get the sharpshooter on top of one with a good field of fire, and things become much easier. Although, to be fair, we're still at a kind of a position in our uh, soldiers' development where even an elevated position isn't going to guarantee me anything, probably. forces are already moving to destroy the data tap installed nearby. We need to lock down the area and secure the device at all costs. Alright, so they may or may not... Oh, there's a nice building right there. They may or may not start shooting it immediately. Sometimes they'll just kind of like goober and sit around and stare at it for a while first. And as awesome as that would be, I'm not going to count on it, so I am going to try to take this building, get on top of it, get my sniper in a position where I can see all the way over here, so that I can start wrecking faces with my sniper rifle. Warriors confirmed, on the move. Alright, we're definitely going to play into... Got some hostiles grouped over here. Or I'll encounter guys right away. That's totally cool, I guess. Can I see them with my sniper? No. Okay. Well, it was a nice thought. <laughs> I was going to uh, 
maybe open up right away. There's just too much clutter in the way there, though. Let's do this. So everybody's just going to dash this wall, start moving everybody up on top. We're just going to want to hold it. Really? Nobody can make that one square. Yeesh. Alright, fine, whatever. Double time. Good to go. And they're buggering off, aren't they? Question is, am I going to be able to see over here? There's a lot of junk in the way over there, too. Hmm. Now, I'll go, take go. this. I want to, uh... I'd like to be able to just, like, pick off a pod or two before I actually have to engage. Other things, I don't want to have to engage multiple things all at once. Because that sucks a lot. Especially when you don't have a lot of tools. Eventually, you can actually maybe... If they're going to continue their patrol around here, I might be able to pick them off over there. Um, eventually, you know, when you have more tools, you have six squad members, you know, you might have enough stuff to actually handle that much, you know, attention if you, like, accidentally pop the pod or something, but an extra pod. But early on, with only four people, you just don't have a lot of tools at your disposal. I've got enemy movement here. Okay. And you guys keep moving. I like that. You guys are moving too. And shooting. Who authorized this? Well, if I want to do the C, if I reveal now, the sniper's going to reveal this group. She's going to see them. Maybe better just to pull back a bit and maybe open up. Man, I really want to kill that stun lancer, though, first. And I don't know if I trust my people alone to do it here. Or I move you folks down and hopefully... Get some activity there. Headed there now. Of course, they might just reveal on the sniper next turn anyway. You can still see him from there. Oh man, are you kidding me? Uh. And you can't see this other pot over here. Heading out. Alright, well we're gonna wait one more turn, see what happens. Fortunately the uh, device has a whole lot of hit points. So I'm not too terribly worried about it right off the bat. Good to go. Let's be nice and close to the I want to take out the sectoid pod, but there's a little bit more worrying. I bet you anything that pod, that other pod, starts wandering back this direction, though. Moving to Overwatch. Got it covered. Now, if they all get together, though... No. Everything's visible. Uh, I mean, I, I can sort of wait if I had to, but...
As much as I like keeping Phantom a thing. Catch. We're gonna we're gonna have to do this the hard way. Of course. No four. If I could have got a four on that trooper and instantly killed him, that would have made things so much easier. At first, the advent deployed non-lethal. Oh, they're all burning though. Okay, that's fine. The trooper will die next turn to the fire. This will actually block the ladder too, so if that Stun Lancer wants to come up this way. Now he's not likely, he's gonna go for either the Ranger or for the uh, my other specialist, but it does give me that, uh, I don't know, ability I suppose. Not that he's alive to take advantage of it. Okay, so that's gonna be two guys dead, I'm pretty sure. Troopers are typically more dangerous than sectoids, because sectoids will tend usually make zombies on their first time if they have that ability. Uh, and so I'm kind of playing into that a little bit. I'm still going to shoot him if I can, but I'm not going to stress him too much. Good shot, six. Okay, so troopers should burn to death. He doesn't like fire. Poor guy. <laughs> Look at that. Right, they're still digging around there. Sectoid. Did he move in? Or do I just see him a little bit? Looks like I just saw him a little bit. Uh, are you doing something else? Or are you zombieing the Lancer? I think you're zombieing the Lancer. Totally okay. Hmm. So I can't actually see him, it's just okay. What can I get if I were to hack? Sometimes you can get stuff like increased sight radius, which might let me see that uh, sectoid and get a, get a sniper shot on him or something. Squad sight! But... That would only be for her, and I don't fancy giving them a defense boost. <laughs> Take the coin flip, see if I can get it with this. No. Shot failed to connect. Fine. We'll do this the hard way. Ooh, that actually reveal. It might. Let's play it safe. Okay. I was hoping I could have caught, caught the uh, car to get it to blow up. Bye bye, Sectoid. Bye bye, Zombie. I wonder if that counts as experience. Because if you kill it, you can get experience from killing it, but I don't know if having to die from the Sectoid dies does it either. Okay, I'd really rather not activate that pod. And I know he's standing like right there, so I'm trying to kind of track where I would need to be to get that to not happen. This Moving. is probably going to reveal, but... 
We're close. Uh, ooh. That is one five. We've got a line on the target. Ooh, Move don't activate. Don't costs. activate. Do not activate. On Overwatch. I'm on it. That's good. Now it will, though. Hi, guys. Run my Overwatch. Oh, yeah, through the wall. Yeah, it's a four. Bring in reinforcements. Nobody authorized that. Stop that. Okay, 82 apparently isn't enough to hit things. You're kind of fired. So I'm hoping to do now is to get the Stun Lancer to run his ass in here and get cut up by Overwatch. Central downside is that the guys coming on reinforcements would go first, and they could eat all of the uh, Overwatch. Oh, the yeah, they're totally god. I shouldn't have done this. Oh my god, man. Reinforcements on this mission, really? Advent forces sighted. And here goes all of my Overwatch. Now I just have to hope the Stun Lancer misses. Cause I'm gonna miss. I'm not gonna hit shit. Oh my god. In hell. Yep, this is about what I expect by troops. At least you hit something. That's all the Overwatch gone, which means the Stun Lancer just has free reign to come in and just wreck me. More zombie. Now I'm outnumbered. You know, number just really, really bad in this game because the the aliens, especially early, really outclass you. They have a lot of health. Where? Are, oh, bye. You go away. You, hit the thingy. I don't even care. That gives me an ability to maybe deal with these guys back here. Get him. Oh my god! That's like a 90% or something like that. 
This game hates me. The RNG, while fair, loves to uh, make sure that you are not. Well, they, uh, that you are basically in the worst position ever. That should have worked. It really should have worked. I don't know why it didn't work. Well, I do know why it didn't work. It didn't work because the game is like. The uh, pseudo RNG, I really feel. I, and there's no empirical evidence to back this up. In fact, people have done a lot of studies saying that it is actually fair. But, uh, can you see me at all? Oh, yeah, you can. Oh, but see, then you get stuff like that where it's like, okay, I forgive you. Of course, the problem being now that I think I have to kill that sectoid this turn because I don't think I can stay away from the zombie much longer. Or I can just try to kill the zombie. Kill this guy behind. No, I have to kill the sectoid because mind control. Mind control. Mind control. He's over here. So, Heading there now. except that it'll be like a 80%, and yeah, you're exposed. Uh, 70%, I bet you I miss. What's the worst thing that could happen? Okay, phew. Got him. You always, and it's actually a good policy, actually, is to just bank on the worst possible thing happening, and try to have a plan in place to deal with it when it does. Now, unfortunately, in that situation, I really didn't have a plan in place. It was uh, gonna be bad no matter what. But <laughs> heading to that location. Affirmative. Moving out. All right. No more of this sword BS. Hundred percent. Ow. That couldn't have felt good at all. Target neutralized. Alright, now, ooh, let's not stay anywhere near that, huh? To that now I just have that stun lancer to deal with. Good to go. Overwatch. He decided not to stab it that time, that's funny. We're good, we're still good. Affirmative, moving out. Oh, the wall's in the way still. I have plenty of time, actually. Um, he can't do that much damage to it, so... Got it covered. On Overwatch. Scanning. Already there. Just in case dude decides he wants to come around this way, do Overwatches. Also, he's using his ammo, <laughs> which is helping me out a bit. He's gonna have to reload soon. Moving to designated coordinates. So, oh, there it is. I was like, you're trying to face me, but brilliant. Forty percent chance for a crit. Can't uh, get too pissed off of that, I don't think. Got him exposed though, 71. Good kill. No longer a threat. My weapon is that it? Spent. Status confirmed. Yep. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Really, really lucky on that one. That could have gone much differently. Records. Uh, most under fire. Fortunately, he missed me. <laughs> um, I guess we're no worse for wear for the uh, mind control there, David. Good man.
job there, Commander. We're one step closer to taking back our planet. Hooray! More combat protocols. Sergeant? Oh, nice. So, Shadow uh, Strike, you get bonus aim and crit while conceals. So I don't really use that one because um, it's a one-off. Unless you take, I think it's a lieutenant, you can go back into the ceiling so you can get it twice. Um, Shadow Step to where you don't trigger Overwatch at all is great, especially once you get like Running Gun later. Uh, it means you can basically just rush all over. They're in Overwatch. They're suppressing you. Um, you know, any of that kind of stuff. And you're just like, nope. Now, the downside is slightly is that uh, if it's Overwatch, it won't trigger it at all. Um, so it'll still be up. It's not like lightning reflexes to where it um, stops it from happening or where you, where it happens but it misses. Um, although that is a perk you can get through the Advanced Warfare Center. I had it on a sniper my first playthrough, which is kind of neat. Um, now with uh, suppression, this lets you, if, there's, if they decide to suppress your ranger that has Shadow Step, whatever, just run out from underneath it, doesn't matter. Uh, he won't. It won't do anything to you. You won't even get the uh, the shot that you would normally get. Um, so yeah, shadow stuff's really awesome. I endorse it. Would recommend. It. Looks like I got two hair triggers out of that. That's funny. Oh, Tigan, you do not look excited to do more autopsies. Another impressive effort, Commander. My expectations were high, and yet you have exceeded them. I'll take full credit for that, thank you. Luck had nothing to do with it, except that it did. Okay. Well, that's good for us there. Um, what we're going to do now is we go back to headquarters, and we're going to pick us up an engineer to start clearing more junk. And we found the black market. That's really useful as well. Um, don't have a lot of intel to use, but, uh... Welcome, Commander. Thank you. And you can go right to work. Maybe 31 supplies, 9 alloys, or 60 supplies. I'm gonna do the 60 supplies. supplies was enough to get is that more debris? Yeah. I'm rushing the excavations because instead of building stuff up here because I want I really really want to get um, like this other troop, this other corporal, and uh, just having the supplies available. Welcome commander. And I'm out of supplies. Now we're going to go make contact. The Indian Regional Zone. The outcome of this research can only further our advances, Commander. see a number of valuable applications 19 days but technology. I'll have a report assembled as soon as the research is complete got our new corporal so we have another grenadier oh, he's looking a little bit down on his luck that's unfortunate feel good man we get shredder so now we get shredder armor off that's really important as well Blast padding giving you extra armor is kind of nice, I guess, but 
I just think being able to remove armor with your cannon instead of having to rely on explosives is also super useful. And everybody seems to be kind of back in, uh, back in readiness. I've been wasting time without people in the tactics school training. I'm an idiot. Just talk things over with the new recruit. Commander, based on my research in collaboration with Shen, I believe we can reduce the intel costs of contacting additional regions by building radio relay towers along our network. The further a region is from a relay, the more it will cost us in intel. So I would suggest building relays along the remote edges of our existing network. I believe the Resistance will be grateful for the construction of these relays. They may reward us in kind. Quite. Supplies again. <laughs> Reading you loud and clear. New regional contacts located. Huh, there's not actually a connection between West Asia and East Europe. That's weird. Uh, so we'll definitely be putting up a tower here, but I only have seven supplies. I don't have enough. Um. I could potentially get some from the black market, but I think I may do is get more intel. Because there's other things from the black market that I think I might like to get. Like Illyrium crystals, if I don't get any at a different uh, juncture here. Commander, we just got or we can do this. Hit an advent supply line. We have an opportunity to salvage some high value materials, assuming we can clear out the alien forces guarding the site first. All right, so our next mission is going to be a supply raid. Um, this should get us supplies, alloys, potentially some lyrium crystals as well, so this might solve some of our short-term uh, needs, um, which is pretty awesome. So I hope that uh, you'll come back for the supply raid um, and for more XCOM 2 Commander difficulty campaign goodness. Until then, my name is Anthiar, and I hope to see you again soon. Take care.